Hello! So I am going to be reviewing today a Conair Smooth Wrap Blow Dryer. I received this for free from Ripple Street through their chat pack programs. If you have not heard of it, I'm going to leave some links to their website so you can read a little bit more, sign up. It's awesome. I love it. So today's product is the Smooth Wrap Conair Blow Dryer. This blow dryer is supposed to use a new technology that they call like dual ion technology and it uses positive and negative ions to um, wrap around your hair and reduce the frizz and condition and moisturize it without causing excessive heat damage. It's supposed to reduce the heat damage. So I'm going to test it out, see how much it actually reduces the frizz. Um, I left my hair with no products. This is just my natural frizzy hair. Um, I wanted to see the before and the after of using this. Aside from the smooth wrap blow dryer, I got a bunch of great goodies in my chat pack. I got some brushes, some head wraps, clips, scrunchies, a facial hair remover, a towel dryer, so many cute and great things. So thank you Conair for this really awesome chat pack and Ripple Street. I was so excited to open this. All right, I'm about ready to start the blow dry, but I did want to show the blow dryer and this ionic technology comes out through here, this little area, and also the grill here. So that is where the positive and negative ions that they said it will wrap around your hair like this to make your hair feel more conditioned and moisturized without um, causing heat damage and it should reduce the frizz. So I am going to use this brush that they gave and also put my hair up and then I'm ready to go. then so this is the finished hair I was able to use the blow dryer without the tip I probably should have used the tip I think it would have helped speed things up um, and I used the round brush that they gave me I at first tried to use so on the box it had sent some instructions that for fine hair to use it on the low speed cool mode I don't know if I'm just too impatient but I did not keep it on cool. I ended up bumping up the heat a little bit because I wanted to speed things up. Um, I should probably preface all this with I am not a beauty expert. Um, I enjoy things, all things beauty, but I do not know all the techniques. I am not a hairstylist, so I do not know how to properly blow dry my hair. Um, with the blow dryer, I usually use a handheld one and um i think it was probably add to, adding to my impatience because i'm not used to doing it with a hand and the blow dryer as well um it, overall though i did feel like my hair was not as hot so even the hottest setting didn't seem like scorching hot which was great um the power modes the speeds low was pretty low and high was like crazy high i mean you probably can't tell in the time lapse of me drying my hair but every time i put that high i mean my hair would go everywhere if i were facing it this way things across the room were like moving because the power on the speed was very high so that was a little bit um hard to kind of navigate because I would try to hold it and me kind of not knowing everything that I have to do, the hair would go everywhere. So it was hard to kind of keep it in place. But besides that, I mean, it's great to have a very powerful machine and you could balance it with the low. And I think that would just be me practicing with this a little bit. Other than that, I do feel like my hair is actually very, very soft. Um, I'm not sure what it means by 
it makes your hair feel conditioned because of the ions. I don't know that science behind it, but I do know that my hair feels very soft and usually when I blow dry it, it tends to get very dry and a little bit brittle because I have very thin hair. Um, and it doesn't feel like that right now. And I think it did a great job of getting up, of getting away a lot of the frizz. I mean, I've been brushing through it a little bit to add some of those oils. I was gonna add a little bit of oil in there just because I know it's not gonna be 100% frizz free. And these little hairs, obviously, are probably the hardest ones to get rid of. But for the most part, I mean, it got rid of a lot of frizz and I really liked it. First of all, I like the color. I think the color is beautiful. It goes with a lot of different um, bathrooms. I thought that the hand grip was really nice and long, so it gives you a lot of space in between. Oh, this is very cool. I think one thing that um, with a lot of other blow dryers that I've used, it always ends up so hot right here afterwards that if you try to touch this afterwards, I wouldn't be able to do this. Even the grill, super, super cool to the touch. And I was using heat, so that is pretty cool and impressive. Um, it's just so sleek looking and beautiful. I really like it. Uh, overall, I'm not sure what else to say. I'm going to definitely use it with a diffuser. I think I'm honestly gonna like that even more than regular blow drying. I think that's probably gonna be my favorite use of this is with that diffuser attachment for my curls. So hopefully I'll be able to do that, learn the tricks and then put another video up. Um, but just as a reminder, I received this for free in order to review it, give my feedback on it, but I was not obligated to say anything good about it. This is all my opinion. 100% real review and I really like it. I thought it was very useful and it's nice and compact. I think it's overall a really great tool to have, especially if you're trying to lessen the damage of heat on your hair and you, but you still love to blow dry and you want softer hair, frizz free. So thank you for watching if you made it this far. And if you haven't signed up for Ripple Street, again, I'm gonna leave a link so that you could go um, find out more about it and join this community. Get some free stuff and get to review it and you'll end up finding some of the best brands that you're just gonna wanna tell everybody about anyways. So bye.